Well, today's Foodie Friday is all about that gooey, creamy mac and cheese. And Eyewitness News reporter Allison Scott spent the morning at Huntington's Ale House to get tips to spice up this comfort food dish. Mac and cheese. It's a common dish in many households. Our specialty is the peanut pasta uh, mac and cheese. We do the gourmet mac and cheese. The Huntington Ale House is bringing this cheesy dish to a new level, and it all starts with the noodles. A lot of people overcook them or they undercook it. Nobody want no water in noodles. There are 10 different mac and cheese options to choose from. All include their secret cheese sauce. Be careful with the milk. Too much milk, not enough milk, not enough seasonings, you know. It could all go wrong. If you're making a cheese sauce at home, Ewing recommends using mozzarella cheese, garlic, and salt and pepper. But this dish isn't done after piling sauce onto the noodles. That's the uh, cheese melted, yeah. That, that's, the, that's the heart and soul. If we ain't got that. We might as well set it down for a couple of days or so. Huntington Ale House says you can even experiment with different kinds of meats and seasonings to throw on top of your mac and cheese. I hear a lot of, this is a lot of food, um, so I think that they are surprised at the amount that you get, and I also hear this is really good. In Huntington, Allison Scott, Eyewitness News.